peekaboo. Where are you, Miles? Where are you? I see you over those clothes. Hey, dude, you're supposed to be folding these clothes. You're supposed to be folding these clothes. Hey, we're going to tell everybody your frisky story today. Want to? Want to? Okay, let's get it started here. We'll fold clothes while we do it. You're not any help. Okay, this is Molly, my little sweet Frisky, and we've had him for three years. He was um, dumped in a kill shelter by people who apparently decided they didn't want him. And not only did they not want him, they did not ever take him to the vet, so his teeth were never treated. Um, apparently he just ate whatever and then um, did not give him heartworm preventative so he got heartworms and so instead of treating him like uh, any pet lover would do they just dropped him off at the kill shelter and they said that he was so sickly there that they didn't even try to put him up for adoption they, they put him straight on the death row but they have a vet that frequents that place and he occasionally will go through and check out little animals, little dogs that he thinks that he could find a home for and he takes them home himself. Well, he saw Miles and he put him in his pocket and he took him home. And he nursed him back to hell. And so then, he, when he got uh, where he was well enough to uh, be taken care of by someone in a home, he was fostered by a lady who was just wonderful to him, and she's so good. She takes in usually five tinies at a time and nurses them back to health, or if they're too old uh, and unadoptable, she'll keep them and she'll take good care of them until, you know, they cross over. But anyway, um, when I decided I wanted to look for a dog, I decided to look for a rescue dog and so I went online and he was one that just jumped out when I saw his little picture and so um, I inquired about him and they told me that he was pending that they had someone that most likely was going to adopt him so they sent me other pictures of other little dogs you know that uh, I, all I knew is I wanted one that was under 10 pounds I wanted to be a, a one in the house one a lap dog so and I, I had a schnauzer for 17 years and had to uh, put her to sleep. So I waited nine months and before I decided to get another another little dog. But anyway, um, you getting sleepy, huh? You getting sleepy? Anyway. Um, I decided that um, I would keep looking. I didn't. I didn't see any that they had there that uh, just caught my eye, or that I thought that I would have a, a good relationship with. So uh, just kept looking. Well, anyway, they contacted me and they said that the people who were going to get him backed out. That they decided that they didn't want a dog. So that made me kind of think, okay, what was wrong with him? You know, why did they decide not to have one? But then on the other hand, you know, maybe they made a good decision. You know, maybe they knew that, that he wasn't right for them. So anyway, they said that um, they wanted my application. And so I filled out an application and sent it in to them. And basically they said it was just for their records because they'd already talked to me so many times in email that they knew that I was going to be a responsible parent. And so they weren't worried about that at all. So anyway, we met with them, and we spent an hour with Miles. And he was already named Miles Davis after a jazz singer, and or after the Miles Davis jazz singer, I should say. So anyway, uh, he was already named, and he was just under five pounds. Now he's five pounds six ounces. Uh, he's had five teeth pulled in three years that we've had him. His teeth were in horrible, horrible shape when we first got him. Uh, he's got a lot of issues. The main one being that he will not drink or eat out of bowls. He is terrified of bowls for whatever reason. I've tried everything. I've tried food on a plate, 
Fun-stick bows, glass bows, square bows, round bows, tall bows, short bows, everything I can think of. The only way he will eat his food without eating it from my hand is to literally put it on a little, little towel. And he eats from off of a little towel. As for water, he will not drink water from a bowl. The only way he, I have a little, you know, like the little finger bowls you get in a nice restaurant. They're, you know, little tiny, tiny bowls. That is what he drinks out of. And that to, even took a long time for him to do that because he wanted me to hold the water for him, for him to take a drink. And I think that, I, I just think that his head was hand, held under water. Maybe that was why that he was like that. I don't know. But anyway, it makes me sick to think about that kind of thing. Uh, you can see he's extremely loving and he's a sweetheart. He's extremely smart. He has never had an accident in the house. And that's amazing in itself since um, he has so many issues you would think that that would be one of his problems but he's, he's never had an accident in the house. He's always been so good about that. Uh, he was already wearing clothes when I got him. The lady that had him um, put clothes on all of her little little dog so um, that was fine with me he's got a humongous wardrobe he likes having his clothes put on every day he uh, he gets excited um, if I get any of his things out he thinks that we're going somewhere because he knows I pack everything for him just like I was packing for uh, us uh, let's see he can sit and lay down on command He's definitely a lap dog. He wants to be in my lap all the time. And he's getting so sleepy. Um, pretty much that's his story. If I knew the people who had him beforehand, oh, I would just love to be able to jerk a knot in their tails. And I think it would be great if uh, they just stumble on this video and happen to see him. And, but anyway, there's a special place for people like them, I think, and they'll get there someday. But anyway, I encourage anybody to get a shelter dog before buying any dog from a breeder that's um, selling out of their own homes, unless they're a reputable breeder. And as they say, do it to better the breed. Now, Miles is a crossbreed, you know, he's Yorkie mix, so um, I don't know how he came about, but I'm glad he did, and he's my baby, and I love him, and I would not want to be without him. So, anyway, we're going to get back to folding our clothes, right? Right? 